So this will be my review of Netflix's Bright. Hello and welcome to my channel where I give as honest a review as possible to movies, television, games, and whatever else I want to talk about. Today I will be discussing, as per the title of the video, a non-spoiler review of Bright, Netflix's foray into the blockbuster movie world. This is a movie that has been labelled the worst film of 2017 by some critics. Is it really though? Absolutely not. With respect to those that have labelled it the worst movie of 2017, sensationalism only makes you look a fool. Or did you forget the likes of The Dark Tower and the Emoji movie that came out this year? Worst movie of the year? Please. Is it the best movie of the year? Absolutely not. Is it a good movie and should you watch it? Yes. What is this movie about? As per the synopsis, in an alternate present day, humans, orcs, elves and fairies have been coexisting since the beginning of time. Two police officers, one a human, the other an orc, embark on a routine night patrol that will alter the future of their world as they know it. Battling both their own personal differences as well as an onslaught of enemies, they must work together to protect a young female elf and a thought to be forgotten relic, which, in the wrong hands, could destroy everything. Now, in this world, there is a very clear divide between humans and orcs, and of course elves. The main friction comes from humans and orcs though, specifically the orc that is the police officer, and it is used in the film as a plot device, to pretty good effect. There really isn't much to spoil in this film, but there is something I feel everyone should know regardless of spoilers or not. The wild claims of racial messages of acceptance and the fantasy play on that is utterly ludicrous in my opinion. I say this because the movie gives a very clear and apparent reason for the distaste humans have of orcs, because they chose to side with the Dark Lord who tried to take over the world. Stating that this is a racial message would be comparable to saying Hispanic people, black people, white people or Asian people chose to side with our big bad Dark Lord Hitler, and thus that is why that particular race is hated by the others. It's pure nonsense. The mere fact people are claiming this as a racial message, in my eyes, speaks more about those individuals' mindsets and ultra PC way of viewing the world rather than the filmmakers themselves. All of that out the way though, the main story runs along at a decent pace. We have Joel Edgerton in the role of the orc, Jacoby. He does a great job. The prosthetics, especially, are good. Not absolutely amazing, but they are good and they share them around a lot. There are a lot of orcs in this movie and they all look pretty decent in their makeup. His acting is solid, believable, and in general, I really actually liked his character. Will Smith is the other police officer, and he is basically Will Smith. There hasn't been a movie recently that has had Will Smith in where he hasn't just played himself. However, he plays himself well, and the movie isn't worse for it. This is a role that Will Smith can do very well, and it works here in this film. Everyone else moves well around them, but the main stars are Joel and Will. Their banter together is great and their turmoil is engaging. The set pieces are pretty decent too. For a budget of $90 million, Netflix managed to create something pretty great here. The scenes in daylight are awesome and showing the rundown areas was fantastic. When it shifts to nighttime, I've seen people claim that this is to hide their low budget, but I disagree. The shots at night were equally as impressive. Without going into spoilers, there are several action scenes which clearly cost money and time to set up, and they are all at night, so it's not a case of hiding the budget. On the topic of action scenes, fantastic. This isn't a groundbreaking movie in any sense, but the action isn't cheesy. It's well choreographed and shot beautifully, with some added slow motion scenes and additional CGI to enhance it. It absolutely works. This really is David Ayer redeeming himself from Suicide Squad. Worst movie of the year? Not by a long shot. Check it out, it's a good film, a good popcorn flick, and I actually wouldn't have begrudged seeing this on the big screen. Would it have been worth the price of admission? Yes, I had a fun time with it and I wouldn't have minded paying for it. I'm glad that Netflix had confidence in this as they have already ordered a sequel and I'm going to be happy to sit down for another two hours and return to this world again in the future. It's engaging and it's fun. The soundtrack was also really well selected. Have you seen Bright? What did you think of it? I'd love to hear any and all of your thoughts and if any of them echoed mine. As always, please do drop them down below in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more movie reviews in the future. If you think this video is worth it and you want to support me, the channel, and what I do, then head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description box. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I will catch you in the comment section.